A blessed and pleasant Monday afternoon, moms and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minute, brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize, Graffi Muki, and I are excited to be with you this afternoon. And indeed, we hope you had a blessed and pleasant Monday morning so far, and that indeed your weekend went very well. How did you spend your Valentine's Day? Did you think about the fact that God loves you unconditionally? Mm, I hope so. Today we are continuing our look at the teaching ministry of Jesus. And guess what? We are preparing for Wednesday when Lent begins. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you find a way to pass through to get some ash on your forehead for Ash Wednesday. Mm. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that at the ending of the show. Now, today, the teaching ministry of Jesus. We're going to be looking at one of my favorite portions of scripture, which comes from Matthew chapter 4. Six, mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 6, 25, 2 to 34. Yes, this is the part where Jesus teaches about not worrying, where Jesus tells the people about the fact that God will always take care of them. Let's listen to this one entitled Don't Worry from Saddleback Kids, which is a child-friendly version of the teachings from Matthew 6, 25 through to 34. Now, we do not own the copyright for this video. It belongs to Saddleback Kids. We are only using it for the proclamation of the kingdom of God to children. Let's have a look. This is thankful. Don't worry. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things. He taught everyone about God's love healed people from their sickness, and even calmed storms. One day, Jesus was speaking to thousands of people. Jesus! When someone asked him about money, he told them a story and tried to explain to the people that our treasure is not on earth, but in heaven. Then he turned to one of his disciples and said, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food to eat or enough clothes to wear, for life is more than food, and your body more than clothing. Uh, I guess. Look at the ravens. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, because God feeds them, and you are far more valuable to God than any birds. Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you think that by worrying about anything, you can add a single moment to your life? And if worry can't do a little thing like that, what's the use of worrying over bigger things? That's a good point. Look at all the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon, the great king of Israel, in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and thrown away tomorrow, He will certainly care for you. And don't worry about what to eat or what to drink. Hey, okay. Many people worry about these things, but God already knows what you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and He will give you everything you need. So don't be afraid, for it makes God happy to take care of you and give you His kingdom. So share what you have with others and give to those who need. There you go. Thank you. Sorry, hi. Then you'll be storing up treasure in heaven. And when your treasure is in heaven, it's going to be safe. No thief can steal it. Whatever. And no bug can destroy it. Man, whatever. Wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also. We want to thank Saddleback Kids for that one on being thankful. And of course, the concept of being thankful comes out of the fact that we are trusting in God in order for him to provide for us. That's exactly it. When we trust in God, we can be thankful and we won't have to worry about the fact that he will provide for us because he always provides for our needs. My favorite part of that whole story is the ending where it says or the part where it says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things will be added for you and i'll tell you what boys and girls mom said that sometimes we could worry as to whether or not god will provide for us sometimes we worry where the next money for the bill will come from 
what will happen if there is no money for gifts for birthday and even if there is no money to pay light bill or buy enough groceries to feed everybody we tend to worry about these things because we feel like we are responsible for taking care of these things and yes we have to put in some effort but at the end of the day if we offer our issues unto god and we pray for his guidance on how to fix them he will always send and he always once we seek after him and his righteousness and live according to how he guides us to live we could trust that he is going to make a way even when there seems to be no way seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you not some things not just a few things uh -uh. all things everything that you need and we have to be remind we have to be mindful of making sure we could distinguish separate our wants from our needs our needs are the things that are essential our wants are the things that we just want to have because we want to have them not because we need them and you know what listen there is a nice little song um, from scripture songs from go kids asia that talks about seek ye first the kingdom of god let's listen to this song when we come back we will have a little bit more discussion and pray before we leave let's have a listen interpretation of one of my favorite songs seek ye first the kingdom of god all because it is based on matthew chapter 6 verse 33 seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you and that is the promise in order for us to get us to not worry about the things in this life material things or any kind of other concern if we seek first the kingdom of god then we could follow the teachings that jesus told to them in matthew chapter 6 25 to 34 not to worry because god is in control mm -hmm. anyway boys and girls we are out of time for this afternoon and we have a meeting that we have to attend you know what rev is noticing rev is noticing that she has now a lot more meetings online than when she had meetings in person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyway i will see you again on wednesday when we will be celebrating ash wednesday and i do pray and hope that you have a beautiful rest of the monday and tuesday and i look forward to seeing you on wednesday before we go however you know we like to say a prayer with you so if you don't mind closing your eyes and bowing your heads we would be grateful excellent let us pray good afternoon god god what a beautiful monday afternoon it is father we thank you for bringing us safely through the week and we just ask that your presence continue to be with us through this day and into the remainder of this week. Father, we just thank you that we could have heard in the words and the teachings of Jesus the fact that we should not worry, not that we shouldn't be concerned or shouldn't play our part in ensuring that we accomplish certain things in our lives, but that in doing these things, we must trust that you will be with us in order to get it done. 
We thank you, God, that your word says that if we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, that you will ensure that all that we need is always provided for. Help us, God, to be mindful of the difference between needs and wants. Help us to remember that the things we want might not, but might not be what we need and that you will always provide for the need and not so much for the wants. We just thank you, God, for the opportunity to learn from you, for the opportunity to share in your love and for the opportunity to share your love with others. We lift our prayers unto you, God, through the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Boys and girls, we love you and we had such a wonderful time with you here on Children's Bible Minutes, looking at Matthew chapter 6, 25 to 34, mem remembering that we should not worry. We should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then all things will be added unto us. We hope you enjoyed our show. Graffy Mookie and I are always blessed to be here with you. Remember, stay home if you can. Wear your mask, practice your physical distancing, sanitize often if you gotta go out. Above all else, don't forget that God loves you, and we do too. Until next time, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>